I'm Fox 13 News reporter Chris Arnold. The Alpine School District is the largest school district in the state of Utah with more than 85,000 students and it has just continued to grow. On your ballot for the November 5th election, two propositions are being brought to you, the voter, to decide whether or not to split up the district. I really do feel that it affects all of us. Um, and that this is a multi-generational decision. Heather Newell is a Lehigh City Councilwoman and a mother of three children in the Alpine School District. I feel like it's probably the most important decision that we're going to make as Lehigh residents because it's going to affect our children and their children. Newell is talking about the possible split from the Alpine School District. Speaking for myself, I think it's you know, it's something I've been studying. I feel like it's a really good position to be able to put our city in. According to recent Utah legislation, the decision to split a school district had to come from the cities. In April, Lehigh entered into an interlocal agreement with five other cities to study a possible split. By August, all six city councils voted unanimously to put the issue on the November ballot. So Proposition 11 is for those cities in the central area. So the residents of Lehigh, Highland, Alpine, Cedar Hills, American Fork, and then the Utah County portion of Draper will have the initiative on their ballot. So it will ask them if they would like to form from Alpine School District, a new school district with those cities. Those six cities also did a feasibility study that took a look at the fiscal impact, such as startup cost of creating a new district, as well as what student enrollment growth could look like. The study stated that a new central district enrollment and taxable value growth would be higher than a reorganized district and that a new district has a slightly higher taxable value per student relative to the Alpine School District. Proposition 14 is for the west side. So those are residents in the area of Saratoga Springs, Eagle Mountain, Cedar, Fair, Cedar Fort, and Fairfield. That would be known as the west district. If both propositions pass, that would lead to a three-way split with everything staying the same if neither pass come November. Alpine School District board member Stacy Bateman pointed to some positives. Being able to have seven board members dedicated to the cities in Proposition 11 um, is going to be a really remarkable thing. However, board member Sarah Beeson says she isn't for the split at this time. I'm also concerned about the possibility of this being a top-down instead of a bottom-up decision. And we really need to be listening to those that are you know, at ground level, our teachers and finding out how things look for them. Groups like Stronger Together, a nonprofit in Orem, say they believe there are some valid reasons to split the school district, but feel like this process has been done in the wrong way. Left out 81,000 of the voters because the people in my city, Orem, as well as Pleasant Grove, Linden, and Vineyard do not get to vote on it. Sissy Rasmussen is a co director with Stronger Together. We know from the study that Alpine School District did that. Taxes are pretty likely to go up because of, you know, loss of economy of scale, same needs, smaller tax base. Rasmussen says they surveyed 3,400 likely voters in the school district. The most um, surprising thing was that very few people in the so-called central district support a three-way split, but just about 10% uh, of the voters in that area supported a three-way split. Now. Other voters also supported a two-way split or staying together. Whether you are in support or opposed to what's on the ballot, those Fox 13 News spoke with say it's important to have your voice heard. I think that people need to find out about it, be educated about it. In American Fork, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.